Hi, I'm Game Guide. It's time for more Let's Play Kirby Superstar Ultra. Still playing Dynablade. It's a video game within a video game, I guess. The suplex ability allows you to kind of pick up stuff in case you didn't figure that out from last time. Pressing a direction after you do a thing, but known as grabbing, allows you to do various moves, you know. Um, I think the only one I haven't really shown is the BB version. Yes. Not a huge fan of the suplex ability, which is why I'm gonna go ahead and get it again, because, I don't know, it seemed like the thing to do. That's a watermelon fall! <laughs> that joke put me to sleep. Yes. So, um, let's see. There's actually a th thing over here, if I'm remembering right. Uh, yes, over here. This is something I was missing out on, which is why I'm gonna just kind of blast past it, you know? Gotta blast past, past the bass, blast, bass, bastion. I, I don't even know, man. I got the fire ability, and I'm gonna go for the last watermelon in the watermelon fall. Oh no, a cannon! <laughs> you can shoot through cannons with fire, cause that makes sense. And this is a chain link uh, ladder, you know. It's, uh, link decided one day I'm gonna make myself made of chains, and it'll be a pun forever. Also, we're playing Donkey Kong Country again. Except the barrels don't have any different designs, and therefore are not particularly interesting. Also, I need to aim directly upward. Upward is the direction that you can use on occasion. If this were like Yoshi's Island, I would hide a cloud up there, filled with stars. Maybe a one-up. Or probably a flower, because the game is just a jerk that way. Can I get down there at all? Um, excuse me, sir. You, you don't need to eat me. You, you, do, you just don't, okay? This is not something you need to do. Can I... Okay, well, maybe if I do this. No, that doesn't do it. How do I break blocks below me? Very stupidly. Right, okay, well, let's do the obvious thing and instead do the obvious thing. Gosh, man. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I'm pretty good at this game. So... You can use the fire ability to blast through fat guys, because that just seems like the thing to do. Uh, you don't want to go down here without the fire ability, because fat guys will kill you. Obesity is, in fact, lethal. So, um, you know, get, just life lessons, kids. <laughs> I guess. Um, it's like kind of a non-joke, really. But, um, okay, so now I am on fire. And I'm burning everything alive, because that is what I do. My name is Kirby. Meanwhile, a new ability approaches. Whoa! I will never unlock this ability by beating it. I, I don't know. That's that's kind of a, a bad joke, because I, I don't know how many people even got it. But there's a frog there. I killed it, and I show no remorse, obviously. Bird, go away. You made me lose that minigame once before. And for that, it is, you are just unforgivable. Uh, the wing ability allows you to kind of fly a whole lot, you know, in case that's something you wanted to do. You can also dive bomb and stuff. It's pretty great. <laughs> um, yes, so. Okay, this puzzle. You might notice a fuse on the ground. Remember what to do with fuses? Maybe light them on fire or something? I mean, I don't know, possibly. You, you could try to, um... I don't know, use electricity or something. That might work, too, I suppose. There's a lot of stuff here. I don't know why there'd be two Maxim Tomatoes. I guess if you had the Helper, but nobody likes Helper. Helper's just kind of a jerk. Oops, well, I broke the world. Sorry, world, didn't mean it. <laughs> There's now lava in the ice world, and I just sat my butt upon a button, revealing the second of the two secret levels. Oh, man. Also, we got... The copy ability, um, it allows Kirby to copy an ability and get that ability. Um, yeah, because that's new and original. Uh, <laughs> yes, it is. Oh no, fire is bad. Darn it, I broke the world again. Dar I'm sorry, world, I didn't mean it, okay? I didn't mean it. I'm going to copy this ability. Now I have the crash ability. The crash ability allows me to kind of explode a whole lot and kill everybody on screen. Uh, these guys here are kind of special because they give you the copy ability, I mean, obviously, but if they manage to hit you with a thing, 
then, um, because, like, they'll try to hit you if you didn't notice that, but they actually steal your ability. It's kind of rude, actually. It, it really is kind of rude. Be careful here, because you might hurt yourself or something. Don't want to hurt yourself. That would be bad. That just would be bad. <laughs> it's bad to hurt yourself. Did you know that, guys? Hey, kids! Remember to learn that hurting yourself is bad. Also, this is a room to, like, show off this ability that I just kind of casually murdered for no particular reason. Are you going to come back? Okay. Let's go ahead and get that new ability. It just so happens to be the sword ability again. Because <laughs> that's obviously what I wanted to do. The mic ability. It's kind of like Crash, except you can use it three times. And you get to make silly noises every time. I like screaming into a microphone. That's something I do on a regular basis, so obviously I'm killing all the enemies on screen all the time. Sometimes I can join a rock band and grow mohawk, because, I don't know, that's just what Kirby does. It's time to get the bomb ability. Oh no! I hear the boss music. That means we might fight a boss! Oh no! It's Chili... Chili... Chili guy. No, his name is Mr. Frosty. I think his name was Mr. Flosty in other games, but then again, I, I suppose that's like mistranslation all up in the place, but you know, whatever. I'm gonna switch abilities all the time, because I have an identity crisis. Kirby just doesn't know what he is, so he's gonna eat bananas. Mr. Bunkers, I'm gonna breathe ice on you and you're gonna like it! I'm just gonna kinda sit here and hold the B button to win, that's, uh, you know, that's pretty great. <laughs> the hammer ability. Always one of my favorites, actually. No, no, not the Poppy Bros Senior guy. He's a guy who exists. By the way, if you run and then press the A button, you can throw your hammer at things. You lose the ability, but, you know, the hammer does a whole lot of damage, so, you know, something worth mentioning. I didn't expect it to one-shot the guy, but sure, I'm quite alright with this. No, I didn't get the perfect cannon shot. Now I'm sad forever. Forever and ever, I will remain sad that I did not get the perfect cannon shot. One up! Do you tell me how to get the perfect cannon shot? Because you don't seem to be doing anything else, as far as I know. Um, trial room two. Basically the same thing as before, except now we get access to the rest of the abilities. Which means, did I really show off every single ability already? Like, I mean, I used this during Gourmet Race, so I didn't really show it off in combat, but, uh, you know, I guess we saw everything already. Part of the reason Jet is kind of a little weird to me is because there's a lot of things Jet can do that I didn't even realize long ago. Like, for instance, you hold down the thing and then you jump. You, like, store a fully charged shot, which you can either use to double jump really fast, or you can also do this thing here. The other thing is that, like, if you have a fully charged shot, whether you save it or not, you let go and press B again, you do, like, this shockwave thing. It's, like, really cool, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use Jet, because I like Jet. You know, I, I just said that, really, so... <laughs> just, I don't know, Jet is one of those abilities I did not really appreciate as a kid, and now I just kind of see it, and I'm like, Man, why is it only in this game? <laughs> just, I don't know, it makes me sad. I'm gonna charge me up a jet. Oh man, it's Dynablade, guys. It's the namesake of the game. You attack its head and then you win. Um, it's pretty amazing how that works. Okay, so Dynablade's gonna kind of do some things where, like, she tries to, I don't know, catch you with her talons or something. So uh, you gotta watch out for that. I just kind of blasted through your face. Uh oh, you're attacking me. I need to like run away or something. Oh no, you're gonna, like, try to hurt me. Stop trying to hurt me! I'm just trying to save you from hurting me. Don't land on me, you're, you're kind of a butt. Oh no, you're flying in from the background! You gotta, like, jump over that sometimes, maybe. <laughs> like, attacks from bosses? I've never figured out those before. Oh man. I just kind of destroyed you or something. Oops, you fell down! Hey, where'd my jet ability go? Oh, well, what's over here? Oh, baby birds. Obnoxious baby birds. They're crying like what babies do. Let's push them off a cliff, I guess. Oh, no, we're going over here to, um... Oh, Wispy Woods. We're going to abuse Wispy Woods again. Yay! Abusing Wispy Woods! Just like every day. 
Oh, I guess I'm teaching birds how to fly, because Kirby can do that. Uh, I mean, <laughs> he sets a good example, you know, as one of them crashes to the ground, uh, never to be seen again. Oh, well, hi, Dinoblade. I, I beat you up, but I guess we're friends now. Bye! Hope to see you again! Hopefully you don't get shot down by a, a warship or something, because that would just be ridiculous and would never happen or anything, obviously. So, uh, you know, that was Dinoblade. Oh, man. Oh, man. There's really not much else to say about Dinoblade. Um, I'm going to actually stop it here so we can start fresh next time with the next game, The Great Cave Offensive. We're going to have to apply our, our great outside defensive. Sometimes the greatest offense is a, a impenetrable defense. I... <laughs> I don't know, man. I just have no idea. By the way, this is more or less when the game starts becoming more of a full-fledged game, I feel. So, uh, yeah, and then next time we're gonna go and see how that goes. We're gonna see how that goes. See you later, goodbye!